as you can see though, these do fly by pretty quickly, so it's only been, I don't know, it feels like probably 5 to 10 minutes, even though I'm sure it's maybe been closer to 20. But yeah, it, it goes by pretty quick, so it's not as intimidating. Alright, we gotta stop. Alright, well this is becoming ridiculous. I actively just calibrated the damn thing. But I was fighting with it to even just get it to calibrate. Yeah, you also end up in these little... Any circle area like this is basically a guaranteed death trap. I shot myself again in the face, but it's honestly not even that much of a concern. Okay, well that worked out. Okay, now we'll do left. Okay, we'll do right. I see. There you go. Perfect. Wasn't even intentional, but it, it happened by accident, and that's all that matters. Go away. I really hate how incredibly zoomed out this is, though. Like, you can't get a nice gauge of anything. It's just horrible. Like, I sort of understand, but I also think it's incredibly stupid. I don't know why it keeps refusing to charge the damn beam katana. I need to just buy a fucking pro controller is what it is. And that's stupid because I shouldn't have to buy a controller. Because firstly, the damn things cost way more than any other controller in history. Fuck off. This house marks part of the doppelganger's descent to madness. It was here that he took another step toward to becoming a monster. He crucified a teenager who had killed his parents and gotten away with the crime. Then, in order to hear the criminal's voice, he ate the body. That's when he began to play host to a range of different personalities. I don't even remember that line. That makes for a... Uh, Interesting dinner table discussion. Also, for whatever reason, I can't seem to like ever get it. The stupid char uh, special attack to ever break down into part two and three. And it's, again, it's nothing to do with this game. It's all the fucking bullshit controls. Not the game controls. The bullshit Nintendo Switch can't make a fucking controller that's worth the shit controls. Like that! That's not me! I'm not touching it! Grandpa's words of wisdom. When it comes to cheddar cheese, it's age two years or nothing. Learn to tell the difference. I really want someone out there, like I want this game firstly to be a little bit better, like other people to like it and stuff, because I think it'd be cool to have a proper catalog of every single one of his lines, because I remember looking into that and like, it doesn't exist. There isn't one out there that's just like, oh yeah, here's all the lines. It just talks that, it just says, yeah, this guy exists and that's about it. And like, you'd figure something like that would be on the internet, be like, oh yeah, here's all his quotes, but no, there isn't anything like that. And it's fucking weird to me to think it's like, I would have to be the one to do it because nobody else has done it. Like, I don't understand that kind of thing. You guys are the internet, you guys have everything figured out in like, fucking less than 24 hours, but you don't with this? Like, that's so weird. There, see, now it did it. Yeah, I'm almost done too. Almost done having a life because I'm half dead. Oh yeah, we got another chip. I meant to look into that. Oh, let me grab these coins first. And that. Yeah, see that moe right there? I'm kind of thinking I want a clip of that. Before we do, I did notice we were uh, in tune for a level up. So... We can do that. Uh, but it's the Psycho. It's the Wing Chip. That's the electric one. And now we have the... I don't know what that is. Generates an area which players will recover power. Yeah, that's basically the one I like the most. I thought we got this later, but if it is what I think it is, it's the literally creates a magical barrier that heals you kind of thing. 
We're we're gonna keep that. That's permanent keepage. Keepage is a word, by the way. I made it up. It's uh, official. It's in the dictionary. Ask Miriam Webster. She's my mom. My mom works for the dictionary. I think it's 10, and I don't think it's 12. I don't know, it does feel like it's going by, like, super quick, and I want to say I remember it being worse. I also remember something about, like, people saying one house in Pasigo was ruthless, but I don't remember which house it was. And, I mean, I didn't die on any of them, but again, since I'm recording, of course I'm going to. Why else? Why would anything else happen? I was looking so I could see, because I'm like, I know for a fact this isn't going to be the position I wanted in, so how do I actually want it? Point is, you want to go grab that thing if you care. It doesn't fucking matter. And now we can switch it so it's orienting the other way with the T flipped over. This, I'm going to kill myself. Honest to God. It really does annoy the shit out of me how everyone's so lovey-dovey the Switch because I really don't think it's all that good and it's so weird. And it's it's not that the idea that the Switch is bad, like the Switch is so much shit that I just love about it, mostly because it has a good strong library. But like the problem is everything on the Switch is so fucking expensive and then we got this stupid drifting bullshit and it's just... Why are the most successful consoles objectively the worst? I don't understand it. Go to hell. Like, if I if I say I prefer the Wii U, everyone in the entire world will collectively laugh at me. And I'm not going to say I prefer the Wii U, but I will say at least the fucking thing works. And that's that's what gets me. Yeah! Brain Age! I did it. Oh, but now I want that box. But that box doesn't matter. But if you play around with the puzzle, you can figure out how to get that box. So, eh, forget. Tell me about the murder. This is the spot where Doppelganger killed most, the most people at once. He killed 82 members in a New Age cult facility. The red on the walls is a testament to his amazing record. Take it all in. You're the ramen guy, I like you. And I do feel like uh, this dude, like just look at him for a small sec. This looks exactly like something that you would expect inside of a No More Heroes game. Like he just, he's that kind of weird outlandish character that feels natural if that even makes sense, which I don't necessarily feel like it does, but yeah, I feel like he fits very much in the game. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Shoot for number one, then you can become the only one. We were number one once. I mean, I guess we still are in our heart. I think this is the only room? I keep throwing it at myself and I don't entirely mean to. Alright, the other thing that's annoying about the Switch, um, for starters, is this, you know, the little plastic shell that they give you to, like, hold it in? Like, the, the actual Joy-Cons themselves don't necessarily stay in inside the, they don't click in, stay clicked in. Oh, that's a spawn. Oh, and you can think of yeah, the, uh, I don't know why I did that, because I'm an idiot, that's why I did that. I didn't mean to do that. Um, the stupid clicky dealies don't actually stay clicked in. That was the point of what I was trying to say. Yes, this is that thing. So effectively, we could just stay in here and just regen our health just as long as we're inside the green. 
And I feel like that is a huge thing that you're never going to want to get rid of in your entire life. If you do, you're wrong. Don't do it. Our battery. There. So, yeah, that is that is a absolute permanent stay on our arsenal. Um, I don't remember. I want to say I kept the slow chip as well. The I know for a fact I get rid of the... I, I'm going to keep calling it Rogue Agent, but like... The one where you throw people, because that doesn't work on everyone, as, as proven. So it's not exactly worth keeping. The the little stun chip we could keep. I'm not sure if I want to, but we could. You're a different bug extra. Grandpa's words of wisdom. After parties aren't worth going to, there's nothing for you there. It is kind of funny though, they give you the healing chip in the area you probably need it the least because um, they put a save point in every single building. Okay, moving on. I'm not touching the controller. Good job, video game. Oh, it doesn't. Be careful. Get caught by that sickly blue face of death chasing after you and it's game over. Kick your ass in a high gear and hurry ahead. Run, run, run! Now, despite what she says, it's actually, like, impossible to get caught by this thing because of how incredibly slow it actually is. Like, it never once caught me. So it's it looks way more intimidating than it actually is. I wouldn't worry. Maybe on harder difficulties it's faster, but it never really caused me much of an issue at all. I say this it's about to catch me because I remember having some points where like I I freak out because I'd be like oh man I don't want oh wow this thing is moving pretty fucking fast well it didn't before can I help you oh well regardless it's still not bad it is only bad because the damn controller is not working move that's going to be what gets me killed, is the stupid-ass Joy-Con drifting. Okay, we're still fine. We'll be okay. Yeah, it never got within, like, a hundred feet of me before, so that's why I'm legit surprised it actually made it up to the arena. Because I don't get it. Like, I'm not playing on New Game Plus. And I picked the same difficulty, so I don't know why all of a sudden it's moving at a reasonable speed now. Like, that's really trippy. Just one look at the back, and you can tell it's the site of Doppelganger's next crime. He killed his victims after allowing them to taste complete and utter hopelessness. Even with all the roots of escape, they were killed in the middle of their home without having moved an inch. Once he had found them, they didn't even have a chance. Hi, friend. You're not nice. Just throw you in there. Get out of my life. Travis! I'm about to serious to God not record any more of this until I buy a new controller, because this is straight fucking bullshit. Like, it is actively making things unplayable for me. Like, I kind of want to just stop recording now, almost. But I don't, because I don't think that the commentary and stuff has been all that bad. It's just the fucking shitty Joy-Con bullshit. Like, that's all there is to it. And it's bullshit that I should have to, sorry, shelf out extra, like, $80 on their problem. But, like, I'm going to, definitely now, I'm going to send it to them. Oh my god, he can't move. 
Oh, right. I was still thinking that was the, uh, the what do you call it? The electric one. Yeah, fuck off is right. Like, I'm definitely sending it to him now, but it's just, it's such bullshit. You guys need to stop being twats. I did it again because I'm an idiot. You guys need to go away forever. Honestly, I find the ones that run away kind of more annoying than anything. Grandpa's words of wisdom. I didn't walk up into the corner. Travis did that. Also, I just happened to remember I can't ditch the recording because the Nintendo Switch is a piece of shit and won't let me have more than one save file and I can't transfer save files over like I could on the Wii U with Breath of the Wild. It was all a dream, huh? It's all in your head. Yeah, that was something actually I've been meaning to say for a little bit. Is, um, oh, okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> um, who are you? Has Doppelganger come back? Just a passing assassin. Passing, you say? I'm not letting you through. Enough bullshit. Let's do this. This is your second trial, punk. You know what makes a mid-boss really terrifying? Skill application productivity and effectiveness. Die! Talking like that, you're just leaving yourself open. Bring it on! Uh, well, okay. So, this is actually a, a thing I've noticed and have been able to fix, is I remember reading somewhere about, like, um, Elgato being a terrible product. And one of the things people mentioned was that if you turn off the display, because when you are recording, you have a little display window that you can look back at and make sure everything's recording fine and stuff like that, you know? Big brain boy thoughts. Go against the wall, slow you down. And ever since turning that off, I haven't had a single failed recording. So I've noticed that that's been a safe way of doing things. And I kind of wish I had knew that during Breath of the Wild. But like, ever since, not a single crash, not a single wasted recording or anything like that. So as a result, I've been able to take a chance with things like this. I still backed up my save file and stuff for Legends, but still, there weren't any failed recordings, and that's what's really important. Right now, the recording isn't the problem. The terrible Switch hardware is the problem. I'm sorry if you like the Switch, I do too. But God forbid, this is not forgivable. Okay, mark that one off my list, which is the Elcado thing. That was something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. I just haven't gotten around to. 